spiritual beings. So today I'm going to start my four part series on card divination. Um, card divination can be a few different forms. It could be Oracle, Tarot, or um, what I like to use, playing cards. So playing cards were the first ones I ever learned. And ever since then, I've been terrible at tarot <laughs> because I love my playing cards so much that I am constantly looking up what this card means or this card means when I use my tarot or oracle deck. And that's why I only own one tarot and oracle deck <laughs> because I am terrible at tarot. So I'm going to teach you what form of card divination I use and maybe you want to learn it and if you do maybe you'll enjoy it as much as I do. So I'm going to start off with my favorite suit which is the suit of hearts. Hearts are about um, feelings and things that are close to you. They can be about family, romance, emotion, home. Um, so the first card I'm going to pull is the ace of hearts. Ace of hearts. <laughs> ace of hearts. Yes. So Ace of Hearts is about new beginnings, such as a new relationship, um, good news for yourself. Maybe somebody close to you has good news. Um, it could mean a uh, new marriage, things like that. So that's what the Ace of Hearts means. So my next card is a Two of Hearts. This means uh, bringing together of hearts. Um, it means quality time with a loved one or, you know, a romantic partner. Three of hearts might, this one might be a little obvious. This means a third wheel. <laughs> um, this also indicates a lack of commitment in a relationship or somebody trying to come into your relationship um, as a third party. Um, this card represents stability um, and commitment in a relationship or marriage and also security in a relationship. Five of hearts. Um, five of hearts means a change. Um, it could be in family, romance, um, home, emotions. It could be good or bad. It just means change. Six of Hearts. Six of Hearts is, um, it's a time of peace and harmony. Um, it's about overcoming obstacles and achieving goals as well. Um, things of that nature. So Seven of Hearts, this represents um, a friend or partner a family member who is not very dependable and uh, is a big letdown. This is the Eight of Hearts. Um, so this means that um, there's an upcoming maybe business adventure um, romantic connection, um, and maybe you'll meet somebody at a social event, things like that. So this is about um, a social event and, and um, meetings upon something romantic, possibly meeting somebody at a social event or, or gathering um, and making a connection with somebody. This is for um, kind of like a disappointment uh, in a relationship. It's, it's about wishing for more in a relationship, um, like uh, maybe wishing for um, an engagement or having a baby, things of that nature. All right, and 10 is good news is coming. <laughs> um, maybe there's a event like a 
wedding or gathering of love, even a baby shower possibly, good things ahead. It means good things. So the jack of hearts could be male or female. This is a non-gender card. It could be either or. Um, this represents um, a best friend or a lover. Um, that's just all it does. It just represents somebody <laughs> um, uh, that you have some sort of either friendship with or relationship with. So the queen is a female lover. Um, this can also represent um, a mother or sister um, or uh, somebody that you fantasize about or pine over. This could represent that particular person. And lastly, we have the king, which of course represents um, a male um, of romantic or affectionate ways. Um, it can also just re represent a father or a brother or something of that nature. It's basically a representation of male in the Hearts family. So that is <laughs> the Hearts uh, suit and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and I'll have three other videos on three other suits in the future thank you